splitting of d orbital in square planar complexes actually in octahedral complexes along the z axis ligands are removed meaning that will gives a square planar complex so the ligand which are approached along the z axis and repulsion between the ligand between metal orbital that will be cancel out now we have four ligand in square planar complexes so the ligands can approach along the x and y direction therefore the orbital which are directed along the x and y axis that is called dx square y square orbital experience more repulsion and the orbital in between the x and y axis that is dxy experience more repulsion so the orbitals which are having z component for example dz square that is along this axis totally no ligand that's why it experience less repulsion dxz dyz they have z component therefore they are in lower energy level and dx square y square dxy in this z component not there therefore they experience more repulsion that is can be explained like this 1 2 3 4 5 orbital this is in octahedral complex 1 and 2 eg orbital 1 2 3 these are t2g orbital so this is called dx square y square dz square dxy dyz dzx so this dz square orbital experience less repulsion because there is no ligand along the z axis similarly these z component orbital experience the less repulsion therefore lower in energy now along the axis which are there dx square y square and dxy this will go higher energy level these two are come in the lower energy level therefore this can be represented as 1 2 3 4 5 top most energy level is this is d x square y square next top most because here out of these two orbitals dx square y square and dz square one comes to the lower energy level that is called d z square orbital now we have total here three orbitals are present among these three one will be lifted to higher energy level that is one dxy and remaining two are lifted in lower energy level that is one two dx which one dzx therefore dzx another is dyz these are in lower energy level so this energy gap is very high compared with the octahedral and tetrahedral so delta square planar complex is greater in splitting than the delta octahedral than delta tetrahedral so this is useful for the neat and j means level so simply remembering purpose only for square planar complexes those are having the x and y component orbital they are in the higher energy level those are having the z component they are in the lower energy level so along the axis which is there d <coughs> x square y square therefore that is in higher energy level in between the axis dx and y that's a little lower energy level but next 
totally in between the axis which one generally dzx and dyz that's why very lower energy along the axis which is there dz square that's why little higher energy totally we got the energy difference among the all d orbitals 